So we're back on another moto camping adventure with the boys. These are the same group of dudes that I went camping with ages ago, but the boys now each have a new bike. Minus minus me. I made a little couple like couple of mods because I was getting over that whole wind chest thing, especially after all the trips I've been doing with my other camping adventures. And also I've destroyed my gauge. So much like with it down here, so much water got into it. It's actually destroyed like this part of all the electricals, all the circuits, the fried, literally fried. I have no left indicator. Left is on. There is no, there's no indicator. High beam's gone. Heated grips are gone. Can't turn traction on or off, and I can't turn ABS on or off. And we're about to hit some gravel roads, off road, off road roads. Richard ended up buying himself, like as of a few days ago, a bloody Tenere 700, a 2022 Tenere 700. And man, I'm, I'm like, I'm a little, I'm a little bit jealous. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I don't even touch one. I've never touched one. I know. <laughs> Can I sit on it, bro? <laughs> Man, this is it. This is going to kill me now. Ugh. I get the full experience. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, man. Oh, man. We've got about 45 minutes to our next waypoint. William's leading. He's got it all mapped out. We've got no idea where we're going. We're just following the leader. Uh, yeah, should be good. Should be good fun. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, riding gravel sucks with no, with no traction. With traction, like it's bloody. I can't believe that the gauge just doesn't work anymore. Oh, oh crap! Oh, ABS is kicked in. I can't stop. Oh, <laughs> shivers! What through that? You guys go first, because if you can't get through, I'm not going to try and then have to get back through again. Brand new Tenere, <laughs> still breaking it in. Watch your bags, bro, on the left pot, on the pole behind you, yeah. Traction stuck on, remember? So that part there is going to be interesting. So I'm going to try to go up there. Yeah, the boys. This one's gonna be a bit tricky for me. Oh, hey, we can just move this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, nice. This is what I'll need a hand with this one here. I'm gonna bottom out for sure. Can we can we put a, can we put another log on the other side? Just to make it ramp down, not just drop. There we go boys. There's no way for me to grab. <laughs> That's yeah. Okay. Oh god. Yep. Nice. Yeah, but we just want to get your back wheel up. Or just over. Why don't we get There's four of us. Yeah. Where would do that? Where? Kickstand. Is there a rack under here, Rob? I see that. that there. We got a problem. Is bike Um. I've got. I can't crank it. This video is brought to you by Manscaped. When it comes to body hair maintenance, do you shave, trim, or prefer Al Natural? 
Introducing the Platinum Package 4.0 by Manscaped. Included in the kit is the Manscaped body wash to keep your skin feeling fresh and moisturized. The two in one shampoo and conditioner, because let's face facts here, who has time to do both separately? The Lawnmower 4.0 electric trimmer to tackle that forest. No, not that forest. Yes, that forest. The lawnmower is waterproof, cordless, and safe to use in the shower. The aluminium free underarm stick deodorant, which dries clear so you don't have to worry about staining your clothes. Like our smelly armpits, let's also take care of our smelly balls with the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. It also dries clear and is formulated specifically for below the waist to keep you fresh and hydrated all day long. The ball toner spray is also included for a quick midday freshen up. Just a few spritz of this stuff and you're feeling fresh as a daisy. And of course, the Weed Whacker nose and ear trimmer to keep your head whole hairs at bay pain-free. As a gift, Manscaped are also throwing in the Shed Luxury Travel Bag and a free pair of Manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs. For the perfect Christmas gift, go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts when you use promo code MOTOFUELS at checkout. Your body, butt and balls will thank you. I've got no crank, boys. You got power? I got power. <laughs> Street scrambler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is exactly what I mean about every time I take it out, it just, you know. Something. Like, something. Oh. We've got a saw. Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, yeah, fuck it. You know those hand yeah. chainsaws? Yeah. I'm looking for the piece of your switch as well. I reckon you may have knocked the switch. But it's it's just hitting it only in the yeah. front there. Yeah. There's no reason why it, sh it wouldn't stop. It would stop working like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. There's no even like. Yeah, it's just just normal. Yeah. It's not like another thing, you know, one of those like another fail safe. I mean, I've there's only the kicks in. Oh, nice work, boys. See how much it's coming off my side, not wheels. <laughs> I'm letting you do all the fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guiding it. <laughs> Look at that. How good is oh, that? Nice one, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's sick. Oh, there it is. There the boys are. Hell's yeah, nice one, boys. Pardon me. Oh, the boys just go straight over. Yeah. That yeah. chain worked really well, though. It's yeah. We've it's had no yeah. luck. We're going to try bloody dump st uh, roll starting, push starting this thing. Um, I reckon it's the gauge. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, second gear, everything's on. Drop your, you're going to drop your bra, mate. <laughs> yeah, and go. <yeah. laughs> Go boys, go boys, go boys. Now. Oh. Well, the bike starts. Ah, oh, man. It's just... Like, at least we can jump start it. Uh, or push start it. Um, I'm not stranded. It's just hilarious. <laughs> that Richard has his. <laughs> this is what I want. I feel like my bike knows it. And it's like... Screw you, Rob. We're gonna get you to the forest, and now because you've been looking at that, I'm gonna not work for you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, I just can't turn it off. I can't stall it, and I can't run out of fuel. Luckily, we've got a full tank. We just filled up, so I'll at least get back home. Um, it's yeah, uh, good times.
Got you eaten. Cheese. Cheese boys. Yeah. Cheese boys. Are the boys on? Not on yet. I've, I've, I've cracked. So cracked. I heard the crack and that that has got me itching here. I just like had to have a crack. <laughs> so the swag boys, the boys are swagging. I mean hammocking. Yeah. That's so sick. I'm actually so keen to see how you guys go. Because I'm like I'm a side sleeper, so I reckon I'd have a bad time. Oh, I? Oh, yeah, ah. I didn't think like, about that. Try this. Yeah, so what's I'll, the deal? I'll probably snore like a mopo on my back. Oh, but... well, it's good, I'm all the way over there. Yeah, <laughs> I love to sleep on my back, but like, I'll just snore. So this is the ground type. I've got this, hey, the Alton. Yep. This is the one I've got the ground sheet. I'm not the no, ground sheet, this is the tarp. This is, yeah, this is the tarp, not yeah. the ground sheet. So I've got that. This shows your hammock real quick. What's the vibes? So you got the fly net, muzzy net. Yep, fly net, then... which is the zippers on the other side. Ah, okay. Jump in, I've got the underquilt. You got little pockets and crap. Yep. That's sick, hey, that's actually that? mad. I'm so curious to see how this goes. I know, so am I. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Rich is the exact same? Yep. And then Will, what are you rocking? You're rocking the same one, hey? No, it's a different one. Different one? Yeah. How cozy is that, man? That's a one, just a one man? It's, yeah, it's a one man. It's effectively the same one you have, but with a single bar across. You know, you've got the black wool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar. This is the, the copy, but with a single. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I see. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, that's um, awesome, man. Just nice and snug. I like my setup. Um, I know like so many people are just like, man, you take so much stuff. I'm like, man, it's, it's not about that. Like, it's about like how you want to do your thing. You want to do your thing like this, do this. You want to go like that, do that, you know, whatever. <laughs> each, each to their own. But, um, I've been using my other tent, my little two man tent and this guy. Every time I take the little guy out, I miss this guy. I'll take it for a little tour. And then, yeah, this is where I usually park my bike and yeah, it's really cool. Um, especially when it's pouring down and hailing and all that, like last week's episode. That is insane. And this is the inside. It's pretty red. <laughs> the mozzie stitch here is insane, so mozzie nets must be up all the time. But the cool thing with it is that you can do that, so you can still have like outside vibes. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see that, there is a massive dude right there. <laughs> this is the vibe, baby. This is sick. Take, have a look at this view. Like, are you serious? Like, isn't that the best thing ever? Um, like one for meals on, sausage, veggies, happy days, boys are frothing. I <laughs> got, got, got some scotch. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is it. What a, what a day, boys. Yeah, good day. That was, that was a big day. It's quite adventurous. Yeah, it was good actually that we didn't stay in. Yeah, I'm going to have my dinner. I've only got the four, four beers just sitting beside me, not open yet. <laughs> Sweet, it's in the morning. Woo! Up for like like an hour, just sitting here, laying, watching, thinking about the bike. Oh, it's just another thing. What do you guys think it is? Comments below. Now, hopefully, by the time this video comes out, I've already sorted it. But oh, the boys are up. It's definitely on the mind when I woke up this morning. Got to sort that out. Anywho, I'm gonna pack up a little bit and start getting ready coffee or some brekkie and then push my bike all the way home. Woo. Woo. <laughs> I'm bloody burning. <laughs> that got that heated up so quick. Mm. I mean that side wasn't even cooked yet. I mean that's like that's what you want. Probably right. The golden brown. Because yeah. that char is just perfect. It's yeah, really good. Nice. That's really there's, no, there's almost no burn taste to it. Yeah there's no burn. Apart from maybe it's just smoke. Yeah. Well, that's it for me now. Uh, packing up and about to head off on my my rip down back to the warehouse without stopping. The boys had a froth on their the hammocks, which looks sick. Looks so good. Like, how good is this setup? 
so wicked. Alrighty. See you later, bro. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> see you, man. Come out of here. Good to see you. I like the gloves. Alright, here we go. <laughs> 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 there it goes. I have, yeah. No freaking dice. Alright, here we go, bro. Thanks, bro. Let's go. Come, baby. Come, baby. Here we go. There she is. Now I just cannot stall it until I get all the way back home. Chuck a yee buzzer. <laughs> cheer boys! Woo, cheer bro! Oh man, <laughs> what a situation, hey. It's just, my ABS light just keeps popping on every now and then. And I mean like, not from using my brakes, because I can't switch ABS off, but it is randomly if I turn the handlebars left. Then the ABS light comes on, and if I turn it right, then they, you know, it goes out. It's just doing all weird stuff. How the hell do I get myself in these situations, hey? <laughs> Far out, I should have gone back the way we came, because I knew the, knew the path. That was a mistake. Just hope it doesn't get worse than this because f me man. Whew. Come on baby, get better. Oh my fing goodness. Oh my gosh man, what the heck? Oh man, look how rocky all that is, man. Are you for real? <laughs> We're getting there, man. It's called Mountain Track. <sighs> nice and easy. <laughs> this is heavy duty. This is very heavy duty, guys. Oh, for a street scrambler, man. What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god, it just gets worse. I pick a line. Um, I reckon to the left. If you can, I'll just keep going straight. Glad this is not a high bike. And that I have a bash plate. Okay, it was good that I went to the right. Oh man, we're almost there. Come on, boys. My heart's racing. I know I need rear brake right now. Oh gosh. Okay, this one's gonna be. I'm gonna need to jump on the rear brake. There we go. I'll go front and rear. Nice and easy. I mean, ABS is still on. Which is not good, as you all know. Oh man, we're getting there. Main road's just there, like the main dirt road. Back's gonna come down now. Footing, there we go. Nice and slow. Let's walk it down. Well, I made it back safe and sound, thank goodness. That was the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> no ABS, no traction, and if I stalled the bike, I would have been, you know, I, I just, I don't, I don't even know what I would have done. And there were parts where it was just straight down and then straight back up, and if I stalled it or something in that middle section, I would have been screwed up. Airlift, give me a chopper, call the chopper. I've taken this thing through so much, and I'd never want to do anything like that again with this bike, anyway. Because it's not, it's just not made for it, you know. Even if a rock came around and clipped the rear caliper, the caliper is so low on these things. If I dropped it, snapped the shift shaft again, would have dinged the tank. Everything would have just been clapped out on it. Uh, and the suspension's not set up properly with it. It was just a bit silly. Silly Rob. That was a silly Rob moment. And guess what? <laughs> Gotta go. Before I tell you what it was or what it is, 
Let me know in the comments below. Take a guess. Guess what it was. What I did do, I actually pulled all this apart, pulled everything off, and I cleaned up the gauge. The gauge is still munted. It seems like the hold in function, when I press and hold in the information button to reset the computer, the trip computer, or to turn on or off traction, that's not working. So that's something, you know, was, that was weird. The clock was just staying on. So, <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, I'm obviously having big time issues with the gauge. And the thing that I need to decide what I want to do now is either get it repaired, get it replaced, or do what I've always wanted to do and get rid of it and put like a little motor gadget one in. But to be able to get that working, you need a little box that's all wired up and everything so that you can still use heated grips and traction and all that sort of stuff. So it's still going to cost a lot of money, um, but maybe now's the time to do it, seeing as though it's all munted. Um, when I pulled all that off, I saw some, I saw the wiring harness back here had worn through a little bit and I fixed all that up. Uh, the regulator wire, that was worn through a little bit, I fixed that up as well, but they weren't the issue. We checked all the fuses and they were all visibly okay. Now the best way to test a fuse is with a test light and you test on each side of those little, little metal parts there. And the globe on the test light should always light up. Well, <laughs> with this one right here, the 15 amp headlight fuse, this one was good on one side and then it wasn't good on the other side. So that indicated the fuse was blown, but visually it looked fine. It was the tiniest little crack in the fuse and that actually causes the bike not to be able to start. Headlight fuse is out. There okay. go. Put it back in. That's all it was. Literally just the headlight fuse. So there you go guys. Street scrambler owners, if your bike doesn't want to start, check your 15 amp headlight fuse. Um, also, I'm going to be taking this thing off the road for a little while. It's done 30,000 Ks and needs a lot of things done to it just to fix it up, get it back up to where, you know, it was. Uh, the gauge, I need to do something with that. And yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. That's the end of the episode. Thanks so much for watching. Boys.